Yes, sir. I think it's a it's a blessing, you know, mainly for our seniors. You know, they've been here for a long time and haven't had the opportunity to play in a bowl game. And you know, for this team to give them the opportunity to wear the Maryland jersey one more time, I think it's just it's really cool. To be able to make every start in the regular season, uh, what has that done for your confidence? What has that done? How has that helped you in your growth this fall? Um, I think it helps me a lot. You know. Um, the more experience I get, really, the more comfortable I get. Um, whether it's good or bad, you know, bad things are always going to happen. But I think the best thing is I can continue to learn from it. Um, I'm surrounded with the right people, the right players and coaches to continue to help me and um, encourage me and help me to grow. You had to become uncomfortable a few times to grow as well. I mean, you lost your top guy, Demas. You had to move guys around, learn their routes, you know, learn how to throw to them in different spots. How much did those challenges help you get to where you um, yeah, it helped me a lot. Um, you know, that's just the name of the game. You know, that's just how football is, and um, challenges are going to come. But you know, it's, something's always got to keep you encouraged. You know, and I feel like that's the experiences we went through, the hard work. Um, and yeah, I think it's it's, it's good. I it's ha I'm happy that those guys get to you know have experience as well. Um, and I know the our, our whole team will be better from it. Um, I'm actually not a baseball fan, <laughs> yeah, but I hear about the Yankees a lot, so I think that'd be pretty cool to play in the Yankee Stadium, for sure. So we the coach talk about how this is kind of the start of the 2022 season. But what does that look like for you guys in practice, and how do you kind of adjust your practices to that kind of mindset as well? Um, yeah, coach said it's the start of our 22 season, and. Um, you know, practices right now is, is kind of tough. You know, we, we're going back to the basics and fundamentals, some things that you can't really do, you know, during the season because it's more so scheming and concepts and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's kind of like fall camp practices, just getting back to, the, to, to basics, getting every, your blood flowing and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty good, and everyone's just, just working hard, just grinding right now. Um, I think it's been pretty fun. You know, our, our young guys, they love learning. You know, it's like any, any young guy. They want to play with the older guys and, you know, get in the mix and stuff. And um, I, I see them work hard. Um, you know, when the coaches on recruiting and stuff, we'd always be throwing after practice and um, getting extra, extra work. And also getting extra work in the film room, you know, with plays and stuff like that. So it's just fun to seeing them grow and seeing them want to get better. And, um, you know, I can't wait to see them play. What do you know about Virginia Tech and the respect of that, their program as well? Yeah, Virginia Tech, um, I really only watch the defense, but um, they have a really good defense. Um, I think they got like a couple top draft picks in there. And um, yeah, they're, they're very good defense, um, aggressive. They fly around. The D line is, you know, very good, as well as their DBs and stuff. Um, but, you know, I think as every week, you know, it's going to be a good challenge for us. What about your team? What are the things you feel good about that you guys were getting the motor going here at the end of the season? What do you feel good mm -hmm. about with the Maryland team? Um, I think just our confidence right now. You know, we always put in the work, and um, it's just playing with confidence and you know being free, and stuff like that. So I think if we just do it what we do best, you know, playing fast and and you know just throwing the ball around the park, I think I think we'll be good. Um, I'm not too sure. I mean, I, I know I spend a lot of time, and I think I'm kind of traumatized by the uh, Northwestern game. I mean, that's where it really started um, my first year. And, 
since then, you know, you kind of don't want to feel like that again. And um, then the Iowa game, you know, that was kind of crazy. Um, but it's just, you know, certain things just stick in your mind and you don't want to feel, feel like that again. So, um, but regardless, win, lose or draw, you know, I'm always going to try to get better. And of course, you know, Coach Locke, he always pushes me and stuff and Coach Enos and there's always, in their minds, there's always things to get better. So I think, like I said, I'm with the right people that push me every day, so. Well, of course, I, I think those stick with you more, you know, the, the bad, the bad plays. I think it sticks with you more. So, um, yeah, it's hard for me to get that out of my head. So, but it does help motivate me and help push me for sure. So, is there a process to that? Like when, when you get into that kind of film study, do you just go straight to the bad plays or do you start from the low point? Um, well, with Coach Enos and Coach Locks, you just want to get the bad plays out the way, you know, just hear what they got to say. And then you know, just move on from there. But um, it's always good learning from from what you got to do. Of course, it's good seeing what you did good, and um, you always want to, you know, improve on that more too. But um, you know, if we can, if you watch our games, it was like one bad play that just kind of cost it all and stuff like that. So the more I just want to continue to eliminate eliminate bad plays and stuff. So. Um, yeah, all the, all the teams we lost to, you know, I want to, <laughs> I want to go back to them. I want to, you know, continue to work, you know, you want that competition, you know what I mean? And, um, those teams, Ohio State, Iowa, they're all very good defenses, Michigan, Penn State, you know, really good, really good defenses. So, um, you know, we'll get another shot at them next year. And um, I just always continue to look forward to the competition that they bring. You know, it's it's great competition. You're gonna play in New York City during the holidays. Do you have any uh, New York City checklists you want to get to? Anything you, you talk about with the guys, like how this life is, or something like that? So. I don't know. New York. I, I really want to see the uh, the Twin Tower thing. Like you know where that all happened. Um, yeah, stuff like that. And you know, fireworks and stuff like that. I know my. My parents is gonna be there, so you know I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy that. And um, but other than that, the main thing is just winning the game. Yeah, you know, I got asked that question, or yeah, that question like that, and I think it's just a testament to. Our, our offense and the things that they do. You know, of course, I'm going to get the credit for it because I'm, I'm throwing the ball and stuff. But my O-line gives me the time, you know, for me to find my receivers. And they're always in the right places. And, you know, they're the one catching the ball. And they're the one blocking for me. So I think that's just a testament to, you know, our whole group. And it sucks that I get to get the credit for it, you know. But I really think they deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.